everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed our main systems to help you win big every single time, and again, no matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we start, I want to ask you to join, and you will have access to the Z Code VIP Club section that has all wonderful tools to help make your picks. So the NBA playoffs are finally here, and we have some interesting matchups for you in the first round. And we're going to talk about some games for Sunday, May the 23rd, so let's get started. First one we want to take a look at is the Washington Wizards and the Philadelphia 76ers. The Wizards entered as the 8th seed after beating the Pacers in the playoff round to get into the playoffs. The 76ers entered as the top seed after a record of 49-23 and during the regular season. The 76ers are burning hot, winners of their last 2 and 4 out of their last 6. The Wizards are coming in average, uh, winning their last game, and winners of three out of their last six. You can see that the 76ers are a huge favorite at 1.39 to 3.36 in terms of the odds. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see the Philadelphia 76ers are at plus 22. They were up as high as plus 29 before a slight skid, losing two games, but they're now back up to plus 22. And Washington is at plus 13. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, Washington is playing in games trending over the line. Philadelphia playing in games trending over the line. That's a good indication of playing the over. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups for the regular season, you see the 76ers dominated play during the regular season, winning all three games. You want to see how consistent the two teams are according to their favorite underdog status. The 76ers are among the most stable teams in the league at plus 20, or excuse me, plus 36. Washington also stable at plus 21. If you look at the scores predictor, you see here a 118-115 margin in favor of Philadelphia, a narrow edge, probably a little bit surprisingly close considering number one versus number eight and Philadelphia playing at home. But confidence in prediction is 87%. So what we think is going to happen here is that the 76ers will win this game. Now, although the line has not yet been posted, take a look later on to see what the point spread is. But I think the 76ers will win and cover at home. The Lakers and the Suns. The defending world champion Lakers enter as the number 7 seed after beating the Warriors in the play-in round. The Suns are second seed after a 51-21 and record. You see, both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Lakers, winners of their last six. Phoenix, winning four out of their last six. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Lakers are at plus 25 here. They were down to plus 13 just a couple weeks ago. They have improved greatly because of that winning streak. And Phoenix is at the top here at plus 29. <laughs> if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams during the regular season, you can see that the Lakers actually have the edge three games to two. If you look at the totals predictor here, if you want to bet the over and under, you see the Lakers are trending in games slightly over the line. And you can see that Phoenix is trending in games way over the line. This is probably a good indication to bet the over. You can see that Phoenix is favored by 1.752 to 2.250 odds. The line yet has not yet been posted. Now remember how I said it was going to be Probably a good indication to bet the over. Well, take a look at this. This might change your mind as far as that goes. The score prediction here, if you look at the score predictor here, the Phoenix 99, Los Angeles 96, with a pretty nice confidence in prediction of 70%. So that might make you want to tend to go under. And I'm trying to, I am kind of leaning that way myself. I think this will be more of a defensive battle. If you look at the stability of the two teams, you can see that the Lakers are among the most stable teams in the league at plus 31. Phoenix also relatively stable at plus 19. That means they are consistently performing according to their favorite and underdog status. Phoenix is at home. They will be the favorites. I just think that the Suns will win. And it will be close. We check on the line to see what the spread is. Again, it's not yet been posted, but Phoenix will win the game. If the line is less than four, I would say that the Lakers cover. But I think Phoenix will come in and win the game at home. The Hawks and the New York Knicks. On paper, this is the tightest matchup of the day. Both teams came in with a record of 41 and 31. Both are burning hot at the moment. You see Atlanta winners of five out of their last six. And New York 
winners of their last three and four out of their last six. And again, it is a it is a tight match. You can see here that the odds are very close. 1.928 for New York compared to 2.012 for Atlanta. Nearly identical, slight edge for the for the Knicks. If you look at the power ranking indicator, again, very close. Atlanta at plus 20, New York at plus 20, excuse me, at plus 17. One thing to consider, though, is in the head-to-head -head matchup this season, the Knicks won all three games, and really only one of them was close. Now, the one did go to overtime, the Knicks eventually won by 10, going away in overtime, and then they won by 11 in the one previous, and then the first one, a closer game, a five-point win for the Knicks on the road. So take that into consideration as well. If you can see in the over and under, Atlanta, you know, very close to the line, as you can see. New York, very close to the line in the opposite direction. I would try, probably tend to avoid the over-under in that scenario. You want to see how stable the two teams have been, which we always like to do. Again, look how close this is. <laughs> Completely dead even on stability at plus 24. Not surprisingly, if you look at the totals predictor, this is also something that's showing a very tight game here. New York 103, Atlanta 100 with a confidence in prediction of almost 80%. Really, this game could go either way. The, the line has not yet been posted. That's going to be important. What I think is going to happen, though, is, again, I'm going with the home team again in this one. I don't like to go against the home team unless it's an obvious reason not to go against them. I mean, unless there's an obvious reason to go against them. I usually don't like to do that, especially in the first game of a series. I think the Knicks will probably have enough to win, but the Hawks could cover this. So if you want to bet outright, go with the Knicks. If you want to bet as far as the the spread goes, go with the Hawks. So there you have it. Those are the three matchups for May the 23rd, first round of the NBA playoffs. Should be an exciting time. Best time of the year for the NBA. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.